Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm back again to share some cards with you using pattern paper. Today we're using the photo play papers Mud on the Tires. It's all about, well, mud on the tires. Um, this is a fabulous collection if you need masculine cards. We're going to create two cards today with it. One kind of has a fishing theme, the other one we're going to go for, um, I guess, I'm guessing like a archery or hunting. Um, but I just think this collection is super masculine. I love the pattern papers in here. I think this would be great for Father's Day too. Um, to pair with our Mud on the Tires collection, we're going to be using the Photo Play Papers My Color Card Stock. This is the variety pack called Mud on the Tires, so it coordinates perfectly. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick out some pattern papers and trim down some card stock, and we'll begin with card number one and the pattern papers that we're going to be using from the Mud and the Tires collection is the Lures. We're going to actually use the front and the back. I like the print on the back of this too. We're going to be using Cabin Plaid. The reverse side of this has a real pretty green print, almost like a herringbone. And then we're going to use Target Practice on our cards today. And now I also trimmed down some of my My Colors cardstock that coordinates with the Mud on the Tires. And I am going to create two card front panels. These are A2. They're both four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And these are going to go directly on the front of my card base. And then I have a couple strips that I'm going to use to stamp some sentiments on. There's lots of sentiments that you can use in the Mud on the Tires collection pack, but I'm going to bring in a stamp set. We're going to be using the Inside Out Happy Birthday. We're going to turn our masculine cards into birthday cards. And then I, and so we'll use these to stamp our greeting on. We have some of this beautiful linen texture. It's not quite white, um, but it's not quite off white, but it's real pretty. And I'm going to use this and create some panels with this. And this is from the My Colors card stock also. We're going to start by trimming down some pattern papers and start with the first project. For my first card, we're going to be using the photo play paper set with stamps A2 card bases. These create side folding A2 size card bases. They are super smooth, which is really nice. So you could actually use your alcohol markers on here. But I'm going to, and they're pre-scored. So all you do is fold them in half. They're 80 pound card stock. And then I'm going to use the bone folder, reinforce that score line. And then I'm going to take my blue panel and I'm going to adhere to the front of my card base. We'll just use our tape runner for this. That with the white card stock, and then I brought in a piece of vellum. We're going to use the photo play set with stamps A2 rounded rectangles. And I'm going to create a few rectangles here. Let's see. We're going to use one for the vellum, and then I'm also going to take the same one and the one that's slightly smaller, and we're going to create a frame like this, and I will run these through my die cut machine, and I'll be right back. So we have a frame with a little bit of that linen texture on there. And then we have our vellum. We're going to layer these two together. I'll do that right now. We're going to add a fishing rod um, and some lures to the front of this pattern paper. And so I, I'm using the vellum to tone it down just a little bit. And so, so my stickers won't get lost with that background. So we have this here, and then we're going to use our tape runner and adhere this to this panel. I cut out with the lure paper, I cut out with the same rounded rectangle, just one that was slightly larger. And we're going to layer these two together here. So you can still see the beautiful print behind here, but it's just toned down a little bit. Okay, I also have this plaid pattern paper. We're going to adhere this to the front of our card base. This measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And it's going to leave me a little bit of a border showing that pretty blue cardstock behind here. And we'll tack this down right over the center of that panel.
Once we have this done, we also have some strips of the other pattern paper. This is the reverse side of the lures. This is about 5 eighths of an inch wide. And then we have the target pattern paper, which is 3 quarters of an inch wide. We're going to take our blue that coordinates with our background and we're going to stamp our greeting on here. Once more, we're going to be using the Inside Out Happy Birthday stamp set from the Say It With Stamps collection. I'm going to use Big Birthday Wishes for this card. So I put it in my stamping positioner. I am going to treat this paper here with my anti-static powder tool. I really want it to stand out on the blue card stock, so we're going to do some heat embossing. I'm going to use my watermark ink pad. We're going to go over our Big Birthday Wishes. We'll stamp that, and I'm stamping it a little bit off to the left. This way, I can have my fishing rod overhanging on the right. I'm going to bring in my white embossing powder. We'll go over our grating here. And our grating is good to go. Our big birthday wishes. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here and we're going to tack this down to this pattern paper. And then I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive and we're going to do a little bit more layering with the Target cardstock. We will add this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. I want this to be three and three quarter inches wide. Okay, so we have our big birthday wishes. Now I'm going to bring in our sticker sheet. Such a fun sticker sheet. There is a mountainous border that we're going to be using for both of our cards today. So I'm going to line this up here. And I'm going to do a little trimming with this just using my scissors. I'm going to trim off here. Now we'll take our greeting and we're going to tack this down a little bit towards the top on our card base here. Okay, also in our sticker sheet we have some lures. We're going to, I think they're so playful and so fun. We're going to take this one. I'm flipping them around because we're going to add some foam tape behind here. We'll take this one also, and then I'm also going to take the fishing rod. We're going to punch out the inside of this part here. I'll flip this over. I'm going to add a thin strip of foam tape behind our fishing rod. We'll tack this down. And then I'll bring in some small foam squares and we're going to pop up our fishing lures. After we have our, we, I didn't remove the release paper just yet. Uh, now I'm going to take my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to go over the sticker just so it doesn't stay sticky. Next I have some black twine. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the right side of my card just a couple of times. And then I'm going to tie a bow down here. I'm going to take my fishing rod, we're going to remove the release paper, and we're going to go ahead and add this to the front of our card. We'll go ahead and tack this down and then we'll take our lures and we're going to add these to the very bottom. Now last but not least I'm going to bring in my white gel pen and I'm just going to add some dash lines underneath my greeting. I want to kind of spread out the white that's on my card here. And I'm bringing in my glossy accents and we're going to go over the eyes of our lure.
And that will finish off my first card. We're going to go ahead and jump in to our second card. Next we're going to take our, our card front panel we created with the My Colors cardstock. We're going to create a green card front. We'll tack this down right over the front. Next we'll take our Target pattern paper and we're going to adhere this to the front of our card. leaving a little bit of that green showing. And then using my rounded rectangles, I created another vellum panel. And then we're gonna layer our plaid paper that's slightly smaller on this. And then using that same woven cardstock from the My Colors cardstock, we're gonna layer all three of these together like this. And then we're gonna place them on the front of our card base. We're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting. So I'm going to bring back my stamping positioner and our stamp set. Again, we're going to make another happy birthday card. We're going to be using the most special thing about this card is the person holding it. I went ahead and treated my paper with my anti-static powder tool using my watermark ink. We're going to go over our greeting and we're going to stamp this to the right of this. I'm going to go ahead and use some white embossing powder. We're going to go over this. Now I have a half inch strip of, it's the opposite of the plaid uh, pattern paper. And I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind my greeting. And we're going to tack this down so about a quarter of an inch is showing. I did trim off the left and right so now that this measures five and a quarter inches wide. We're going to bring back our sticker sheet. And we have the target practice here. And I'm going to take this sticker and then I'm also going to take the mountain. And then we're also going to take the axe here that will layer perfectly on that round sticker. Okay, we're going to take our mountain and we're going to do the same thing we did with our first card. I'm going to add some adhesive at the very top. We're going to tack down these mountains. And then I will trim the left and the right. Wonderful. I am going to use some foam tape and I'm going to pop this up. We're going to place a strip of foam tape behind this and I will remove the release paper and then we're going to tack this down. So a little bit of the white is peeking. Wonderful. We're going to take this sticker and I'm going to add this. And then we have the axe here. I'm going to put some foam tape behind here and we're going to add a little dimension. I'm going to take the axe and then we're going to replace it. It's a little bit smaller than the one that's on the target, but I think we can still get away with it. We'll just tack this down. And then I'm going to bring back my glossy accents and we're going to go over the axe portion. And I think I'm going to bring in some twine. This is kind of a hindsight, but I think I want a little bit of texture. So we're going to go ahead and wrap some twine along the seam here and I'll tie a bow. But since our axe is just a little bit smaller than the one on our target practice sticker, the, the bow is going to help draw your eyes away from that. And then that will finish that card. Here's a look at both cards we made today with the photo play papers from Mud on the Tires collection pack. Some fun masculine cards for those, the rugged guys in your life. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.